On May 20th, Hello Boss Season 2, Episode 4, Western Energy release. And over time, it has gotten a lot of mixed feedback. Some liked the episode, but a lot didn't like it, since the tone of it was all over the place. Many people like Sarcastic Chorus, Dire Gentleman, and some not-so-well-known people scrutinized it heavily for the tone shift, as well as how Striker was reduced to an absolute joke of a villain. Also, Viv made a Twitter thread about all criticism, and the way she responded wasn't really the best way she responded to any drama, since she was an absolute chill in understanding about the Millie criticism. Not to mention how season 2 has dropped the ball, and some believe, me included, that Vivzy won't improve at all, according to her Twitter thread. A lot of people are saying that she is truly a horrible writer, and some even go to the point of saying that she stole fan art from merch designs, overworked her animators, and admitted to false advertising. Although I don't fully agree with the stolen fan art and overworking of her animators' accusations, she's innocent until proven guilty. Back to season 2. Episode 4 has problems, and I'm gonna talk about them. Grab your criticizing glasses and grab whatever drink you drink, because we bad to criticize episode 4. And it's time I stop talking like a Texan, because I'm pretty sure I'm giving... <sighs> you know what, screw it. Let's just get with it. I'm sorry for if I... I'm sorry if I can't properly form a sentence. L let's just get to it now, hmm? The tone of the episode was terrible, not to forget that, well, the vet appointment was nothing but force, like, just remove it from the episode and it would be just fine, like, seriously. The only good episode, the only good thing about this episode was the fight scene, don't get me wrong, it was the only good thing. Heck, even one of the shots is inspired by Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> And also, now I'm going to talk about something that bugs me more than, you know, episode 4. The fans defend Vivzy Pop, even though she made a very controversial, controversial tweet. Sorry for that, you know, improper English. Alright, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, basically the fans are defending her even though she made a very terrible, controversial tweet. Basically, like I said, you already saw my video on how I felt about it, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. Basically, she, bas she basically shouted out about being criticized and, and how, how she can't take criticism, that stuff. And like, some people, some of her fans are saying that she's in the right. And listen, I don't... I don't hate them or anything, fair enough. But listen, the thing she did was very stupid. Listen, just take this into consideration. She was acting like Theft King. And if you know Theft King, you already know how, you know, he made that one stream where he cried and, you know, that one stream that and how it got archived. Like, you know, how he said... King Carter should burn in hell. Like, I, listen, I hope that Vizzy does not go down this route. I, I hope not. Because I do not want her to become like that. Alright, back to the fans thing. Basically, um, uh, um, well, some fans are defending her. A good, good example is virtual celebrity. No, no hate towards her or anything. Let's listen. I'm just gonna have to say this in all honesty. Criticism is confused with hate too much. 
and listen, Hell of a Boss fans, if you think criticism ruins the show for you, then that means you were ruin ruining it for yourself. And what I and what most people mean by that, well, I'm taking it from someone else. Yeah, because I I can't come up with anything thing on my own. Basically, the only reason why criticism ruins a show for you is because you don't want to accept the fact that criticism. Let me just do that again. Um, uh, all right. All right. Criticism only ruins the show for you if you do not want to accept said criticism. Criticism does not ruin the show for you, but you decide whether or not it ruins it for you. Since if you don't want to accept the criticism, then that means you're going to let it ruin your day. Anyways, um, back to the fans thing. Some of them are like hating on a lot of critics right now and it's kind of sad because like these fans don't know that they're confusing criticism with hate and criticism is not hate at all and sometimes people go to the point of harassing and you know sending death threats to critics like Tezu or like you know dire gentlemen which is very wrong and heck Lindsay even stays quiet about this, but is like, you know, very angry whenever someone says that she needs to improve on writing. And listen, listen, I, I have nothing against her, but the way she acted was just a bit immature. Okay, I hope you on. I hope you all understand that. I apologize for the moronic stuttering that makes me sound like a literal bumbling fool. I apologize. Basically, at the end of the day, episode four was not a great episode, but there is only, but there is one good thing about it, and that's the fight scene, and that's the only good thing. The vet appointment was just straight up boring. Fifty pop. She's not a perfect person, but let me just say this. She miss she made a mistake, just like all humans do. She's only human, after all. Insert I'm only human after all joke here. Okay, now I'm just gonna end it here because screw it. I, I can't even make a proper review or the um these are just rant video videos, not critic I mean not reviews. Just rant videos. I'm gonna call them from now on. So, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next act of, you know, Hobo Boss Season 2 sucks. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Uh, fuck. God damn it. No, that wasn't the deal. He, he told me. Ah! Uh, Mitch, please. You betrayed me. <laughs> you used me. <laughs> oh. uh, you uh, fucked up my face. And now, Mitch, please, I I can explain. You have my permission to die. That engineer's a spy.